Hey guys, did you know that 20% of all the top earners spend an average 16 hours outside of work studying something new to develop new skills? In this video, I'm gonna talk about something that I started doing as my bare minimum. And this is something that's gonna make sure that not only allow you to continue to learn and get better at coding, but it's also going to make you more successful as you already get your job and continue to learn new skills. My name is Paul, and if you're looking to switch into web development late in life, this is what I talk about on my channel. So if this is something you're interested, consider subscribing. Okay guys, so this channel is not about the quick fix, not about becoming a developer in three months and making $100,000 a year, because that's not realistic. This channel is about putting in the work, learning to code and getting the job of your dreams. But it takes work, it takes dedication. And a lot of us know this, but I still get questions of people saying like, man, I just wanna get my job making $100,000 a year. Just forget about that. If you're not putting in the work, you're not gonna make it. So here's the deal. In one of the studies that I just read, they said that the top earners in their class spent an average 16 hours at minimum studying outside of work. That means after you work your eight, 10, 11 hour day, they still spend one to two hours at home studying. So this is something that I took to heart and started to do. So instead of 16 hours, cause I don't wanna do 16 divided by seven, that's a weird number for me. So what I decided is that every day outside of my work schedule, I'm going to spend two and a half hours studying and developing and honing my skills. Two and a half hours, believe it or not, is not that much. I know what some of you guys are thinking, if you knew my schedule, I I already don't sleep you know enough I only sleep four hours a night and I don't have enough time to I have family I have this I don't have time to dedicate two and a half hours well listen to me if you don't have two and a half hours in your day you're doing something wrong I'm gonna tell you how I broke it down and something that I do now I normally sleep five hours six hours but I recently started to sleep eight hours because you need your rest and so that time has to come from somewhere so in my case though if I really generally did not have time meaning if I don't watch Netflix, if I don't do whatever, I would literally take one hour away from my sleep. So I would sleep seven hours. So that means I have one hour already for me to study. Now, most of us, we probably spend an hour and a half a day doing wasteful activities, like walking around the house, doing some, like I'm sure you could find another hour and a half. That's your two and a half hours a day. If you're watching TV at night for more than two hours, take an hour of that away and add it to that other previous hour that you took away from your sleep. Basically what I'm saying is that anybody could find two and a half hours, but this is the commitment you have to make. You have to commit to learning and having in your schedule two and a half hours that you don't miss of consistent study. The reason why I picked two and a half hours because it's easy math. So is it easy math? I don't think it's easy math. Let's see if it's easy math. Well, two and a half hours studying every day, seven days a week will give you 17 and a half hours a week that you are studying. So basically that's a little bit more than 16 hours a week of study. So that will put you with the habits, the top 20% of earners eventually in your field if you dedicate your time to learning this skill. Now the reason why I put two and a half hours, not three hours or not two hours, uh, is because I definitely wanted to hit that 16 hour minimum just to be average on top of those 20% of high earners. But I also wanted to have a very easy way that I could break up that time. So basically two and a half hours means that you can study in 50 minute blocks. It's basically like being in school and taking 50 minute class, taking a five minute break and going at it again. So basically what I do now is I sit down with a timer for 50 minutes, study, take a little break, another 50 minutes, study, take a little break, another 50 minutes, study, take another break. This is also a great way for you guys if you can't do two and a half hours all in one go is to maybe wake up do two sessions of 50 minutes and then at night do an additional session of 50 minutes so that way you're always getting your two and a half hours of study a day consistency is very important I much rather have you guys study two and a half hours every day than try to cram every weekend because if you study on the weekend even if you spend 16 hours studying on the weekend throughout the week if you don't do anything you're gonna start forgetting things the most important thing is consistent
consistency over time. If you're really serious about becoming a web developer or learning to program and getting ahead in life in general, you need to dedicate at least two and a half hours of your time to study. And again, if you're arguing with me that you don't have two and a half hours, I don't know what to tell you. If I could find two and a half hours in my life, you could find two and a half hours in your life. If you cannot find two and a half hours to better yourself, to better your future, if the answer is no, then you probably shouldn't be watching any of my videos or trying to do anything. You have to get serious, dedicated, and cut and prioritize time in your life for study. So as a minimum, I recommend that you guys find two and a half hours every day to study. This is something that I started to do, and my goal now is to do it consistently before I used to do you know one hour here and then three hours the next day but now you know moving forward two and a half hours every day it's not that hard it's gonna become a habit and you know what your life will change truth is learning to code is very difficult it requires a lot of hours and a lot of time and so if you want to make sure that you get ahead and actually make progress you have to do it on a daily basis and do it consistently again let me know in the comments if you think I'm completely crazy but in in terms of learning to code, it is something I struggled with for a very long time until I adopted this consistent schedule. There's a lot of people out there that tell you how easy it is, how all you have to do is learn some Python and do machine learning and all of a sudden you're making $250,000. I heard that. That's ridiculous. Nobody does that. So I know the type of people that watch this channel that don't believe the hype, you know, and you ready to put in the work to accomplish what you need to do. If you're willing to work hard, you will get there but if you keep making excuses if you keep watching Netflix if you keep not doing coding every day it is going to be very difficult so I wanted to make this video to kind of share with you the reality of learning to do anything and this applies to anything else like before I used to do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and MMA and outside of class I trained extra three to four hours a day and that's something that helped me to stay on top and be ahead of my students not only was I able to maintain my skill but I was learning new things that I could offer to my students and let me tell you if I was a chef I would do the same thing I would spend extra after work two and a half hours a day reading cooking books reading new ways to cook and developing those new skills whatever the skill you have that you want to learn I guarantee you if you put in consistent time on day to day over a prolonged period you will get there there is no secret formula except hard work and dedication I can't believe that in 2020 there's still people that think that things are just given to them they're not you have to struggle a lot of times some of these go happy videos that you see online about learning to code what they don't tell you is they don't tell you their struggle they probably made it and they're just trying to talk about how cool they are because they made it or whatever some courses but the truth is when you start coding you will realize that it's difficult and you will just want to quit most people do quit but people that don't quit they realize that what it will take to succeed is putting in the hard work every day and continue studying continue learning for the rest of your life hey if you don't want to study for the rest of your life programming is not for you i'm telling you right now because i remember learning something and then six months down the road uh th th that knowledge was already relevant like i had to learn new things everything is evolving in this field anyway again i don't make these videos to discourage you i just want to be honest with you so if you want to be in the the top 20% of earners eventually because you put in the work well start putting in two and a half hours at the minimum of coding every day anyway you could like it dislike it I don't care I just want to be honest and truthful with you if you have any comments please let me know in the comments below and if you hated this video for whatever reason how can you hate me oh, well there's many reasons why people could hate me but the point is at least leave me some constructive criticism so I could make my next video better thanks for watching happy coding and I'll see you guys next time.